Luke Wood with ball in hand. Gone straight up in the air. Fletcher's underneath it. Settles himself. And a wicket on the first ball. The Trent Rockets are absolutely delighted. Full shot early from the back of a length ball. Just top edge it straight in the air. Luke Fletcher calling his hands in the air. Easy as you like into those big hands. Delighted. Just make sure you hit the pitch, hitting the stumps. Well, that's a big shot. That's a very big shot from Michael Pepper straight into the crowd. And the first boundary of the day. And he's gone big again. Used the feet this time. Didn't quite get clean connection, but enough to pierce. Oh. Good pace. Was there a sound? Sam thinks so. David Milnes says no. And the keeper, Tom Cola Cadmore, has gone in for a chat. Yeah, there was a good nick on this. Actually got quite a bit trying to run and open up the face. Old Trade's coming now. Yeah, David, there's a clear spike as he goes past the batsman. You're on screen now. Change your decision, please. Or well, nearly, nearly. Just a low full toss that was punched away. It was in the air for a fraction going towards Hales. Well, that is a shot. He's leaned back and given that the full beans in the end. And the fielder couldn't cut it off. Well, that was short, but absolutely punished. Quick hands through the ball there from Michael Pepper. Bold. Perfect comeback, and you can just see it in Luke Wood's celebration. A fraction slower, but it was right on the money. With a cross-seam delivery, doesn't move sideways, but just skids on and hits the top of off stump. Pepper looking to strike it over mid-wicket. Fantastic catch by the keeper. It means nothing, but Luke Wood delighted with that. Yeah. Timing. That is classy bit of timing. We often see the big shots. Sometimes you just need to get back and get into line and help it on its way. Out towards that man. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Joe Root diving forward has taken a special catch to dismiss DJ Bravo. Here's a brilliant catch from Joe Root. He's looking into the sun out there. You can see he didn't quite pick it up at first and had to make the ground up diving forward and then notoriously difficult catches. You've got to get your hands under it. What a catch. He's given himself the opportunity to bowl to his field. Finds a gap this time, does Simpson. Picks up a well-needed boundary for the Superchargers. Finds the gap, though, this time. Very good from Adam Hose. Oh, straight to Samit Patel. We'll come back to you, Doan. Thanks very much. Fletcher with a little slower ball, wide of off. And Simpson just finds the edge straight to Samit Patel. Yeah, he struggled to get himself going tonight and just tried to give himself a little bit of room, moved across to the leg stump and a little slower ball again from Luke Fletcher in the block hole and just guides it, almost like slip catching practice. Sharp work, very sharp work. And going to have a look. Yep, going to have a look. Very, very confident behind the stumps. It's a fair delivery. Run scored from 11 balls. Uh, you can see it's not a straightforward decision for the third umpire, Steve O'Shaughnessy. Well, there were two pictures. The one on the left for me was definitely out. Just freeze out there, please. Definitely That's carried. It. Strong shot down the ground. They need a little bit of light relief, and they've got exactly that. He does hit a long ball, David Visa. He saw that it was given a little bit more air, just set himself and then hit hands through the line over the bowler's head. Catch! I expect a few more of those. Catch! Oh, gets this one. Surely not going to miss out. Doesn't miss out. Doesn't miss out. Joe Root not tall enough.
off that over as well. The six at the end, it was the low full toss. It's not easy getting leverage off the surface, but when you get a gift like that, you've got to put it away. And over the top it is, over the head of Joe Root, and then a race away for four. Funder Merva with his first boundary. 100 comes up. Like that. <laughs> that sounded so good as well. Up high into the Howard stand. That is David Visa. Going straight. Use his feet. Beautiful follow through. All Joe Root can do is look high. Seven meters. Crunched in the gap. One bounce, two bounces, and away to the boundary for four. Straight from Funder Merva this time. Half a dozen more. He's getting in on the act now. Cut off that straight boundary, but Funder Merva backed away to create almost a crossbat shot down the ground. Gets all of it into the sight screen. Oh, edged away for four. Little bit, just a little bit of good fortune for Visa. Not that time. That's what happens when you miss Stuart Broad on the money. That is massive. Down the ground, into the tunnel just behind our pod. Six more for David Visa. Oh, goodness me, you cannot bowl there. 50 up for David Visa. What a good innings that is. Applauded as well by his teammates. First man to score a half century in the 100, batting at seven or, or below. Brilliant, 150 comes up as well. It's a full toss. That's not where you want to bowl it. Flies over the deep mid-wicket boundary. It's interesting, this extra fielder in maybe just mentally frees up the... Tightens the bowler slightly. This one should be taken. Is that Joe Root underneath it? Yes, it is. Always, always safe. So Sam's get a little bit of redemption, but it's been a terrific innings from David Visa. ...that they can get their team something to bowl at. I felt that when he was walking off and the teammates were all coming towards him. They feel they've... A target that maybe they can defend with a very good stint with the ball with some early wicket. Slower ball, picks it, but picks the fielder out. It is the skipper, is it? Lewis Gregory down at long off, takes the catch. So, as you said, Stuart Broad, he's gone one dot wicket to finish off. In the gap, in the air, but away to the boundary for four. It's one of the favoured areas for Milan. Oh. Turned around behind square on the onside this time and down to the boundary for four more. Waited and waited and just punished it. Did Alex Hales, his first boundary comes courtesy of a big six. 10 balls gone, 19 runs. Laugh about it prior to the game, prior to the innings. Gotcha. Pulls this one away, out to a wide-ish long on. Another boundary. Yeah. In the air, through the gap, and away to the boundary on the offside. Oh. Edged. Fine enough for four. A little bit of good fortune for Milan. Massive, absolutely massive. Not been straightforward in the early part of the innings to hit boundaries. David Milan just helps himself. Wasn't it slog sweet from David Milan? Pick the leg spinner turning into him, so it makes that shot a bit easier. Going towards the leg side, high into the sky. Long, very long, very big. Just drag down and help yourself. Alex Hales is in the mood. Oh. Yeah! Just chipped, and you can never blame a fielder. You never blame a fielder for trying to take the catch in the end. Makes a bit of a mess of it. Yeah! Lovely shot, lovely shot in any format of the game. 
Yeah, you can't bowl there. To so have Milan, that is for sure. Moves to 38 from 22. Heaved, heaved leg side. Out the way. Excellent reply. Excellent reply, but in the end, I think there's just a little bit of bat on it. Yeah. Well, this has gone high. Is there anyone underneath it? And the keeper does the hard work. He's had to move excellently to his left. And a big, big moment at the wicket of Hales. Adil Rashid does so well. He comes on outside of the power play and takes wickets. And a good, good catch from John Simpson there. He's had to run a long way to his left. He's almost on the outer ring, 30-yard ring. Well, outside edge, and it's been taken. Adil Rashid diving excellently to his left. And another wicket falls. He's come round the wicket. Across Tom Cole Academy and a great catch from Adil Rashid there. Dive into his left. He moved quickly. He moved early and he was able to get two hands on that. And again, this time though, gets a little tickle and it races away. Well, 65 balls gone, 99 on the board. Is he actually gets it to dip? Like you see when off spinners bowl, he gets it to dip at the last minute and that is why it's so difficult to hit. Especially when it's that Yorker length because the batters see it, looks like a full toss. Well, drilled straight over the top, a couple of bounces and it goes away for a four. 107 after 70 balls. Yeah, I think they wanted a bit of this. David Milan is a motoring here. An excellent slog sweep. Yeah! Still past the outside edge, but David hey, Milan's got his eye in his bat. And Milan has picked up another. Timing it well, Stuart Broad. From Potts at 72 miles an hour into the pitch, but Milan just picks it up. Clears, his, clears deep square leg with ease. Oh, didn't see it. Did not see a thing at cover point. It's a Thunder Merver, I, I think it might be. Throw the left-handers taking the ball away from them like that. Little edge, but that goes past Simpson behind the stumps. And he'll pick up a fortunate bound. ICC tournament last year. Oh, it's another boundary. It's another boundary away from David Visa. Just spins away down towards us. A little bit more good fortune. I think that's a, a great growth area. Seen the Commonwealth Games, the women be involved there, which I think has been magnificent. 90 balls have been bowled, 145 runs, just eight more required, For and behind, we're going given not so upstairs. On the field. Yeah, there's a clear spike, David, as the ball goes past the bat. I'll have to get you to change your decision. You're on camera, now give the batsman out. goes through the offside for four. Wow, timing has been exceptional from David Milan. <laughs> that's it, that might be game over, it might be a bit late. Sorry, Alex Hales, I think that's going to be it. That was part of the bat that had made the winning com contribution anyway, I can tell you that much. We finally found the right camera, but David Milan has found the middle on most occasions and the edge just to finish things off. The Trent Rockets go two from two.